Hello, Your Majesty, and welcome now to Shout Out Wednesday. Post a question or give me a shout out on Wednesday. I'll do my best to answer the following week. Well, it looks like sunny and super sentimental today for the royalty of the zodiac. The moon is still kind of draining your energy a bit. It's in your opposite sign. It's putting emotional focus on relations and relationships. So you might find yourself extra sensitive, but you're also extra intuitive. During the course of the day, the moon will cross in front of Neptune, which is the agent that logs us into our guardian agents. It's a vibration that gives us kind of an alley up so we can talk to God for a second. So emotionally, you are very intuitive. So if you're having any kind of relationship issues with someone, feel it out. See what your emotions tell you about it. They're talking to your higher self, and it's got a much higher perspective, literally. Now also, today is about expansion and learning, particularly when it comes to getting on your dream path or getting into your star power potential. Remember, the sun in Sagittarius this month launching the new Leo dreams and the new Leo paths. So I imagine Barack Obama, for instance, is getting a lot done in preparation for presidency. That said, allow yourself to expand the potential. Also, I want to bring up Saturn. Now, Saturn's really working hard with you guys on soul capital, raising your self-esteem, raising uh, your prices literally in life. But it's trining also Jupiter conjuncting Venus. And I talked about Jupiter conjuncting Venus being creative breakthrough this week when it comes to lifestyle, a whole new lifestyle. It's a great breakthrough. But what Saturn is saying is, in order to activate that creative breakthrough, you want to expand your overall thoughts on what your soul capital could be or how productive you could be. So include self-esteem expansion and uh, raising of prices to help you with that creative breakthrough with your lifestyle. Then lastly, the question is Zazen777, you know who you are, that's a hard one to memorize, dear, is asking a question about a Gemini mother-in-law and a Libra husband and how they're both driving you crazy. I'm assuming you're a woman. Well, let me tell you this. First of all, Your Majesty, step back. Sometimes Leos want to get overly involved and want to take control of things, and what they need to do is just let the planets rotate around them and work, them things, work some things out. Now, Libra is literally clearing subconscious issues right now. Saturn is 12th house, so some of those subconscious issues is his childhood with his mother. So it sounds like he's right on path by having conflict with mom right now. Gemini is wrapping up a 12-year transit on relationships. So this is probably a final test for her as far as how to relate to herself and others. So I would say step back just for a little while and let the karma take its course. All right, that's all I have for Wednesday. I'll see you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So